Hello, this is Oliver at Bedford Car Sales, and this is the walk-around video for our 21 plate Tesla Model 3. So you can see going around and finishing this blue, absolutely lovely to be honest with you, really nice indeed. Uh, four recent tyres on the car, Hankooks, uh, wheels overall in very nice condition, if I've been hypercritical, perhaps a couple of very tiny marks, but nothing you wouldn't expect for age and mileage of the car. Overall condition is very nice indeed, to be honest with you, as you can see. Um, very, very tidy looking car, nice shiny bright paintwork, um, fantastic looking thing. It's been the 2021 model, it's got the uh, de-chrome trims around the window, so everything's finished in satin black. Uh, it does have the um, heat pump as well, and also the the prettier interior trim, shall we say. The centre console's all been altered, and it certainly looks a bit more elegant than the previous. So once you've got the app on your phone, everything sinks in very well with these cars. Until that point, you have to put the uh, security card against the B post here to lock and unlock the car. So, black leather. Really nice condition overall, really nice, very nice. And the leather they use in these testers is really nice. It's really soft, really supple, really, really very good quality. Uh, Alcantara to the door cards, very nice indeed, with this nice light brown wood effect trim running through. So let's jump in. So, as I say, these cars don't liven up until you've got the app on your phone. So, to get it going until that point, you pop the card down here, then put your foot on the brake, and everything lives up. So, um, as I say, these are very, very, very modern and very well specced, which is something about these. So, let's go with the air conditioning system first of all. So, climate control, um, you've got heated seats in the front, you've also got heated steering wheel as well, and that gets really toasty hot. Also, got heated seats across all three in the rear as well. So, as I say, these do tick the boxes very well, these cars. Um, very, very good indeed. Uh, range on them around about 300 miles on a full charge, there or thereabouts, dependent on driving style, obviously. I'm going to switch these heated seats off now because they're cooking. Um, yeah, overall, fantastic. Really good indeed. So you've got several different modes within here as well. You've got dog mode, camping mode, to keep cool mode. So the car will actually um, keep its temperature for you. Now, all of this is app controlled as well. So when you've got the app set up on your phone, you can defrost the car from your living room in winter without even having to move a muscle. So you come out and the car's all defrosted and you're ready to go. The heating's nice and warm. Um, it's all, all, very, all very good, very elegantly laid out. So... Map system, very easy to use on these, very straightforward. Uh, so here's Kempston High Street here, and we are directly opposite the BP petrol station, Bedford Car Sales, just over the road there, down the little lane with the red gates. Uh, so if you need to find us, you know exactly where we are. Um, so awful lot of things going on here within these so you've got all sorts of stuff going on here you can have a log fire effect on the screen if you want you've got games stereo system loads of short uh loads of shortcut menus here as well you can actually set these to do what you want as well so if it goes to the stereo system first of all uh, stereo systems in these are of very good quality in all fairness very good indeed so let's find something playing some music and give you an idea of course automatically pick a station that's talking at the moment let's try something playing some music yes so Stereo systems, as I say, are very, very good quality in these. As you can hear, very crisp. Very crisp. You've got speakers either side and the front, and almost like a massive sound bar running across the front of the dashboard there as well. So stereo systems are very good quality. Now, obviously, you do have other options within that as well. You can Bluetooth your music in, tune in radio, Spotify, all the rest of it. So awful lots of way to get your uh, to get your music into this vehicle. Right. So other things to note, as I said about the nicer centre console. So the earlier cars had a black plastic trim, it used to flip over and cover over the phone docks and everything. Now we have these. So this is two wireless charging docks here. Uh, additional storage under here this goes all the way down there quite deep under the armrest as well there is additional storage which goes right underneath here with a 12 volt charging socket in there as well cup holders tucked away at the front nice and easy to get to um, very straightforward overall so other things to note uh, within the car let's go to the setting side of it it's got auto lights auto wipers power folding mirrors 
Again, all operating with the screen, child locks, window locks, even opening the glove box, um, all done with the screen. So as I say, it's a very, very technologically advanced car, this. Um, so you've even got auto main beam on it as well as your auto lights. Uh, mirrors, so adjustment on the mirrors, you do with this roller ball here on the side of the steering wheel, which is the same one you use to control your volume as well. Um, steering wheel adjustment as well is also done with this. So if you can see the steering wheel comes down, you can also bring it closer and further away from you as well. Um, it's all very straightforward, all very easy to use, to be honest with you. Um, these are, well, once you're used to it, these are really good, to be honest with you, really good. So, other things to note within the menu. Got recording and sentry mode as well. Brightness for the screen, so if we go to pedals next. So acceleration, you've got a chill and a standard. Uh, steering mode, you've got a comfort, standard and sport. So comfort is very light, little finger. Sport requires a little bit more effort and standard is just in between. Um, so stopping mode, you've got roll, hold and creep. So if you're in hold, we'll pop it in drive the car is not moving, my foot is off of the pedal. As soon as I touch the throttle, the car starts to move. So let's pop it in reverse now. So reverse cam, obviously, but we'll get to that in a minute. Um, so you've got a roll mold as a roll mode as well. So pop it in drive again, put off the brake. Car doesn't move, so you tap the throttle, but it continues to roll. It doesn't automatically stop unless you tell it to do so with the brake pedal. Now, the one I tend to have them set on is this one here, which is creep. So creep is as close to a normal automatic as you can get. So you take your foot off the brake and the car starts to move. I'm not even touching the throttle back on the brake and the car stops. So that's as close to a standard auto box as you would expect to find. Um, but as I say, overall, everything's very easy to use. Charging, so it tells you what your state of play is with your battery um, and your charging information. So it's about a third charge, which is showing 104 miles currently. Autopilot system, uh, traffic aware cruise control, and it has full beta auto steer as well. Um, so autopilot activation, you've got a single or a double pull. That is done with the gear lever which is on this side here so park is the switch on the end but reverse is up neutral down one drive and then if you press all the way down that has now set the cruise control on the car so when you're moving the car will go up to that 30 mile an hour limit that it knows this road is um, and it will slow down for anything that's in your way um, so key cards and apps on phones and whatnot as I say once you've got the once you've got it all set up on your phone um, the key cards pretty irrelevant I keep it in your wallet just in case or in your purse um, just to make sure you've got it on you just for just for sort of um, safety sake just in case for any reason your phone dies on your battery and you get stranded um, but overall the phone does most of everything so you've got display settings light settings as well uh, trip settings navigation system so you can add in voice control into that as well if you like and voice alert sentry mode for the camera system and then you've got service mode it tells you all your tire pressures how to adjust your headlights you've got car wash mode um, you've also got camera preview and one of the only other things you can actually do yourself on this car other than screen wash is change your wiper blades so you've got service mode for those as well uh, so if we go to camera view camera view system on this car is huge so this is the cabin camera hello how are you this is me here uh, so if we go to main view at the front then we've got a wide view narrow view at the front door pillar left which shows those bmws there uh, then we've got fender left or wing as we like to call it which shows the bmws back there those three one series is across uh, and then of course we've got the same on the other side as well right door pillar right fender and then the rear camera which obviously activates every time you go into reverse um, so there's an awful lot on there on these um, so uh, let's say long range dual motor one so everything you would expect 47,644 miles on the clock um overall absolutely fantastic so let's uh jump out of the car and we'll show you around a little bit more so boots on this car you've got a front and a trunk so uh boot as we call it here and a bonnet on that one there we go uh, and of course that lovely pan glass roof which is very nice indeed all right let's jump out and we'll show you around a little bit more driver's rear seat condition 
beautiful seem very little to no use in this in all fairness i would say all original mats all present and correct something else to note as well these seats are split 60 40 rear seating so if you need to get additional load in the car you can not a problem at all there is also two usb c charging ports within the center console right at the back of the car as well so into the boot itself charging cables you've got your main charger there the blue one and then you've got a three pin home charger here uh, your tesla little emergency bag which contains your high vis and your warning triangle but lots of additional storage space and the boots on these are of a very good size so let's just shut that boot lid down there we go so passenger rear equally seat condition beautiful no real marks damage or wear and tear to speak of and if we get on to the passenger front, again, overall, lovely condition indeed, really nice. <coughs> so last thing to show, the front trunk, or frunk, as they like to call it in the US. <coughs> A bit more additional storage space. As I said, the only things you can do on this car yourself, really, is your wiper blades and your screen wash. So that's your screen wash top up there, and your toe eye is stowed away at the front. So for the new owner, this absolutely lovely uh, Tesla Model 3 will come with a 12-month MOT. It'll also come with a 12-month breakdown cover package and the balance of the Tesla main dealer warranty, which is until the car is four years old. Um, we do also offer free delivery as well within 125 miles within our Brian James enclosed trailer. So if you can't come to us, we can come to you. So this concludes my walk around video on our Tesla Model 3 long range dual motor. If you have any questions, anything at all, please do not hesitate to either give us a call, ping us over a message, or send us an email, and we'll do our very best to help you. Thank you very much, and I hope you have a lovely day.